Greetings, everyone. How's it going? This is John McLennan, and uh, I hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Um, in this lesson, basically what I want to do is uh, try to explain all the different parts in my song, Start All Over Again. And uh, it's, it's basically the, the guitars are just one six string and one 12 string guitar. And uh, kind of just been getting a bunch of requests for it, so thank you for, for caring about my music. It really means a lot to me. Um, so let's jump right in. And I think that this is going to be uh, a little bit more advanced, but if you're looking to expand your chord vocabulary beyond just like the basic kind of garden variety chord shapes, this might be a cool way to, you know, start working on that. So uh, we're going to start at the top, and you can also, if you, uh, if you send an email to info at johnmclennan.com, and I'm going to put more information in the more info, uh, you can get the free chart of this, uh, this lesson. So it'll have all the core diagrams lined out and everything, uh, mapped out on, on uh, tab or whatever. So, cool. Well, let's start at the top. We've basically got an A chord. And this, this might be like your familiar A chord, you might play like that. I just play it with one finger, I bar it, and then I throw the pinky on top because I like having that A note on top. So, and then I'm, I'm going to basically a sus, and I'm putting on uh, my second finger here on the, on the second string, and then my third finger on the third string. So it's... So it's much faster than that, but so that's how it starts. And uh, then, then once we go to the pre-chorus, that goes like this: C sharp minor to D major to E seven sus to A. Then the second time it goes C sharp minor to B minor, to E7 sus, to E7. So that's the pre-chorus there. And then that takes us right into the chorus, which what I do on the chorus is I'll take this chord shape, A, just your bar chord at the fifth fret, but I like to play it with my thumb. So I, I move my first finger down to those top two strings, and I play the bass note with my thumb. I'm big on thumb chords. Some people, it's hard for them, and they're not used to it, so you could just play A if you want. You could play this A, but the exact voicing that I do is this one. And then I move that down to a G. And then this one is a D add nine. And uh, it's kind of like doing this chord, but it just sounds so thick and amazing like this. So uh, the chord would be the fifth fret, the fifth fret, seventh fret, 9th fret, 7th fret, 5th fret. So it's a good one just to work on if you want to play that, you know, up and down the whole guitar and work on building your strength. So there's a good one. You want to make sure all those notes ring. You're also putting the 5th in the bass, the A. So once again, that chord progression is basically A to G to D add 9. So that's the first part. by the way, and then you're back to the top, so it's just a climb, F, G, A. So the last part that you got to learn is the bridge, and that starts on an F sharp minor 11, and I'm playing basically here, my first finger gets uh, the low root there, F sharp, the pinky uh, is on the fifth there, C sharp, and then I'm barring to get the seventh with my first finger, but then my second finger gets the, the minor third, the A there, and then the top two strings are open. It's a great chord to use it all the time. 
uh, and then C sharp minor seven uh, to B minor seven. Basically, it's gonna go. You've got F sharp minor eleven, C sharp minor seven, B minor seven. Back to the F sharp, B minor, and then now to the G. F sharp. go to an E flat diminish and then that just spreads out to become that D flat or a D add nine again so you've got like E7 sus and then you're back to the chorus so that's it so you might want to just take some of those chords and if it's a new voicing, practice it. You know, some of them might take time. Uh, just keep working, wake up every day, play. Never try and uh, force like the chords, like with your hands and stuff. Maybe start up higher where it's easier and just remember to relax and because uh, and, you don't want to hurt your hands. So uh, I hope that you'll check it out. You can download the song. It's on iTunes. It's off my second album, Dreams. Start all over again. Um, Send me an email, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you soon.